This is nothing, just a head. She of color for what he Jama. Insurance. Fish, fish border. This way. Capital one. My goodness. They did the Katira Jama. We tell telephone command. This week, command. Every week, they tell us I'm sorry for a bill. Yeah, and it's all about to check. Beja, I'm sure they're not. The bill we take a hraba. Wow, look at it. This is a lot. The man who can't Jama. So they start to beja. I got a guru who blew up. It doesn't make no sense. Look at this. Look at all of this advertisement. Come on. What is this now? Proactive. Try it for just nineteen. Ninety five. I'm going to Kulu for this border, and I will go money when, and I will go to the if we had yet the Kulu. They can take us. Hey, Mom, can I go to Katie's house? This is the time now for me. Who is Katie? Katie's my classmate, and um, we have this really important exam coming up, and um, our teacher put us in a group study to study. Pony, I told you before, do not hang around whoever. Is this the time now? This is not the right time to go to study. Where were you since morning? Hmm? How long do you think you are going to study with uh, KG? I'll be back around 8 o'clock. Around 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to start studying, you know, before that. It's, look at the time now. I will let you go this time, but I don't want you to hang around with whoever. I, don't, I do not know KG. Is KG parent home? Yeah, KG's they're, mom they're home? home? Okay, I want you to go and come back on time. Come back around 8 or exactly 8. Look, should be ladder for me. And that's a gem in show all you be ladder. You're supposed to be home and help me. But I will let you go because you are going to study for the exam. Okay? Come here before 8. Okay. Got it? Understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you take care. Thank you. Um, hello guys, hi, how are you? Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video clip on parental trust. Uh, I decided to create short video clips that sort of depicts uh, different scenarios, but the scenarios are sort of cohesive. And um, the reason I did that was so that we could learn from it as a collective group of South Sudanese youth. Because these scenarios are not isolated to one person. Um, anybody can sort of draw from it and stuff and learn from it. And to me, if you're not learning, you're staying stagnant. You're not moving at all. So as human beings, we have to continuously evolve. And that's the beauty of being alive and stuff, you know, or else we'd be dead and just not moving at all. So in creating this um, video clip here that talks about parental trust, this talks about a, an incident um, whereby a character named Fonny, which is played by our Coco Warge, um, Fonny decides to go ahead and lie to her mother and tell her mother that, you know, she's going to study with KG. But in actuality, um, KG is holding a house party. So Fonny decides to attend that party, but the only way she can do that is by lying to her mother. And as we know, um, our Sudanese parents tend to be very strict on us, you know? They, they expect us to follow certain guidelines, and if, we're not, if we don't do that, you know, we're punished, and sometimes it's in a form of corporal punishment, you know? Getting beat up and stuff like that. So, I mean, how many of you uh, have ever lied to your parents, you know? I know I'm guilty of that. <laughs> But, you know, we've all lied to our parents. And one thing in life is that when you lie when you're younger, I mean, the mistakes are not so big. But the older you get, the form of lying increases in capacity, but also the consequences are very big, too. This clip is to help us answer some of these pertinent questions. And these questions 
uh, it will be great if we can go ahead and assess these questions, analyze them, but also internalize them and really think critically, you know, how we will we deal with such scenarios, you know, if we apply it into our lives. Because eventually, you know, some of us, of course, have children, while some of us do not have children. But eventually we'll get to the stage whereby our kids are going to grow up, they'll be teenagers, and we'll be dealing with uh, situations that are worse in terms of what we're dealing with right now. Because, you know, our parents, you know, they cannot believe some of the things we are going through in our age because they never had to face it. So just imagine 20, 30 years from now what your children will be facing. So as a collective group of South Sudanese youth, it is important for us to look in the future and see how we're going to go ahead and deal with a lot of things in terms of disciplining our children and really seeing who our children associate with when they become teenagers and stuff. So let's look at these questions and really, um, since I'm going to post this on Facebook, uh, the questions and stuff too, uh, let's try to have a good debate on how we're going to deal with these scenarios and how it's going to impact our lives and things of that nature. So your feedback is greatly appreciated. So here are the questions. Do you believe lying is wrong is there such a thing as a good or bad lie if so what constitutes a good or a bad lie have you lied to your parents if so were you punished for it and did you regret lying to them what lie have you told your parents you wish you could take back. Were the consequences from your lie negative or positive? What will you teach your children about lying? Is there a form of lie that is unforgivable? Can a person stop lying? Do you respect your parents? If so, do your parents deserve the respect of not being lied to? Do you believe it's in a child's nature to lie? If any, what form of corporal punishment will your children receive when they lie?